some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Jeffrey County, Texas, where we encounter a sovereign citizen who attempts the uh, script, but her understanding of the uh, script is just completely laughing at best, and she ends up falling flat on her face as a result of her ineptitude regarding the said script. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Right. Perfect. So, Miss Pugh, Mr. Jeffries has been appointed to represent you. Um, he's just been given, he's trying to get caught up real quickly on all the information and the discovery in your case. I'm going to reset your case so that he can get all of that. Once he gets it, he'll be out there to go over it with you, and we'll see if we can get an announcement at the next court date. All right. Um, respectfully, Your Honor, I do not agree to comply with any of the appointed court agents, considering that their first duty is to the state. Well, soft heart, it really doesn't matter whether or not you comply or not. You committed a crime in the state of Texas, and, uh, well, you're going to be uh, tried as such. So, yeah, they're going to do it with or without you. All you have to do is be there. I understand. We've we've had this conversation before. To the conflict of interest, and for your record, I'll be representing myself. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Are you really sure you want to do that? Because I've seen a lot of cases on here so far where sovereign citizens do represent themselves and it doesn't normally turn out very well for them, considering they don't know the uh, procedures, they don't know the law, they don't know anything beyond what their soft heart guru tells them, and it leads to disaster. So if you want to represent yourself, there's some things. Miss Pugh, stop talking over me. If you want to stop talking over me, if you want to represent yourself, then there is a process that we have to go through and we'll do that today. If that's what you want to do, we'll get your case set for trial and we'll go forward that way. It is highly inadvisable for you to represent yourself. Lawyers have many, many years of training. They understand the law. They understand how a trial works because here's what happens when you're in a trial and you represent yourself, you're expected to know and follow all of the rules of evidence, all the rules of procedure. And so you're really at a disadvantage if you don't know those things. And so what you can, you have to do everything just like the assistant district attorney would. And if you don't, you're going to be in front of a jury and it's going to show, and it's just not going to be, it usually does not work out in your benefit. But I have to go through with you some questions first before we do that. And then if you still want to do that, then there's a couple of things that we, a couple of options, and we'll go over those as well, okay? So um, I am supposed to ask you, I'm going to go through these questions. I need you to answer them if you want to represent yourself, because this is required, all right? So have you ever studied the law? Okay. Um, have you ever represented yourself before in any kind of criminal matter? Okay. Um, do you understand uh, the charges against you? I'm, I'm accused of okay. And so are you, do you know, and we've gone over before, I think what the range of punishment is if you're found guilty on a jury. Do you know what that is? Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me pull you up here. You go over that again as well. Uh, the date of that allegations from June 22nd of 2021. And what that means is if you're found guilty, that the range of punishment um, that the jury could give you is between two years as a minimum punishment up to 10 years in prison, anywhere in between. Do you understand? And the answer out loud, just for the record. Um, do I understand? Understand. Well, Judge, if this is like any other sovereign citizen argument, the word understand has a completely different definition to sovereign citizens. They believe it means that they do not stand under your authority, even though the actual colloquial term for that is to be able to comprehend. But, you know, sovereign citizens and their petty little word games. What do you not understand about that? I don't understand that. So here's the thing. If you want to represent yourself by law, you have to be able to understand these things. Otherwise, I've got an appointed attorney for you. So you can't just say, I want to represent myself because I don't like the attorney or I don't like the process. This is the process that you're in. 
You live in Texas, you live in the United States. This is the law that applies to your case. So what do you not understand about the range of punishment if you're found guilty? And I'd be glad to explain it. Well, that's what the jury is for. Their job is to determine whether or not you're guilty or innocent of the crime. They listen to the evidence, they deliberate, and then they pass judgment. And then the judge determines the sentence. That's how it goes. That is the due process that is in the Constitution. If you have even been bothered to read it to begin with. That's what a jury's for, right? And so if you say you're not guilty, then you go in front of a jury and they determine after they listen to the evidence if you're guilty or not. That doesn't have anything to do with if they find you guilty, you understanding that they could send you to prison for between two years and up to 10 years. Do you understand that part? What do you, yes or no? No, you don't understand that. So, Ms. Pugh, it's my understanding, I'm not going to allow you to represent yourself because you don't understand the law and the process. So that's, we're on question number four out of 15 that I'm supposed to ask you. So Mr. Jeffries is going to stay on your case. I don't care what you want at this point. You can't do it. All right. You can go back with the bailiff. I'm done. Go back with the bailiff. Go back with the bailiff. Welcome to the criminal appointment list. This is this was not meant to be any kind of punishment. I promise. <laughs> so we'll do. So, Mr. Jeffries, just I mean, get ready like you would. Probably, it's going to go straight on to a jury, um, and we'll just get it figured out that way. All right. Well, this was a complete failure of the soft hard script to begin with. I mean, she didn't understand it fully, and it ended up blowing up in her face when she, she tried to utilize it and didn't know how. And, well, even when you know how to use it, it still has a 99% chance of blowing up in your face to begin with. So, therefore, her complete misunderstanding of the script means that she had no chance in hell of making it past this without getting a lawyer assigned to her to begin with. So, who knows? Maybe she'll actually get some reasonable defense out of this. Who knows? So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?